What's up in the TXP network? This is TXP 101, administrator for the TXP network, also known as TXP Technologies, coming at you with another update video. This time we are going to be talking about TXP network accounts. First off, uh, our database um, PHP slash MySQL web host, it, we mentioned that one in the uh, last video. That will be the site that's used to host the TXP network accounts and may also end up being the site that we will permanently move the TXP network portal to due to the fact that Weebly has been giving us some uh, very daunting issues as a web host. For example, every time that we uh, go to publish the pages, for some reason, can't access them when I add new ones, and it only updates the index page. Besides that, I uh, can't really edit the, uh, can't edit any of the pages that actually show up as um, viewer viewable content. I can only edit like scripts and stuff, stuff like that but besides that I can only have one page on my website and uh, try to edit like all the other pages such as landing and etc. Didn't work out too well. So uh, and for more information you can just go in and check out Weebly for yourself. Um, <clears throat> it gives you a, a preset template to start with and then from there you can either edit the HTML or use the template editing features but nonetheless didn't go too well for me. Couldn't get it to work. Not only that, but also it is a bit weird in the way that it's done. It's kind of similar to Google Blogspot, which kind of annoyed me due to the fact that even though I went to go make a new page, when I made a new page, it didn't show up. So uh, either they were having technical difficulties or I was, but nonetheless, no other web host has given me any issues like that. I've had webs as a web host, and they did pretty well. Did better than Weebly, even though I didn't use the template option for webs. So. Uh, yeah, Weebly is going to be gone soon and will be replaced with the uh, web host provider that I mentioned in the last video description. And if you want to see that last video, well, it was the one that I uploaded before this one. And I actually mentioned the uh, URL for the web host that I'll be setting up. The web host that I'm going to be setting up requires a, uh, it requires a desktop client for me to for me to actually install so I have to install it on every machine that I use to actually you know update my web pages for the TXP network site so in other words I will probably have to install that on my 30 gig hard on my 30 gig not my hard drive my 30 gig thumb drive and that's going to be pretty difficult seeing that some applications actually require that you install them in the um, app data directory in other words if this program actually requires I install it on the computer itself then it won't be as portable as I find necessary and if it's not as portable as I need it to be then I may or may not actually decide to cancel this web host and instead may go out looking for another one that's due to the fact that in order to actually use <clears throat> this web host like any other web host I have, to be I have to be able to access it from anywhere so I can actually make updates to it at a moment's notice and also to make sure that all content stays online, valid, up to date, and also, well, within the uh, com with compliance, within compliance to uh, the programming standards as they change. One of the issues that I had with um, my older sites was in the fact that I wrote them in older versions of HTML, so I'd update them. I could update. I could easily update that due to the fact that webs actually allows for me to do direct HTML editing, and also publishes the uh, whole entire site after I'm finished editing. For some reason, Weebly doesn't appear to do that, so that's the reason why I'm canceling them. And webs doesn't require me to actually have a client, so it's more portable than the one that I'm about to go to. But if I can install the client on my thumb drive, then I will still consider them to be a valid option. Speaking of which, the client that I just mentioned is for... <clears throat> the client that I just mentioned will also allow for me to possibly make the TXP network um, accounts. That's due to the fact that I'm going to be using the PHP and SQL to actually create a database to store user accounts. and if I can actually get the accounts to work in time by 2015 then I will actually think about making it so that anyone with a TXP network account 
will be the first official beta testers and some of you TXP network account holders may even be able to actually you know become administrators for the TXP network in other words be involved in operating system development and also in program development so if you're interested in seeing how that system would work just contact me personally at tophatproductions15 at gmail.com that's my professional email for this business and also if you'd like to know more about the actual qualifications for how to get an account and what I'm actually considering then just contact me at the email again or leave a comment in the uh, leave a comment underneath the video and make sure that the comments of course are actually um, appropriate in other words no curse words you know the deal and uh, besides that uh, also we are yeah, the TXP network is currently working on GUI, GUI development, you know, graphical user interface development in Qt C++. If any of you know what Qt is, then you know exactly what I'm going for. And I am also currently working on possibly looking to options provided by Boost Libraries for uh, a good amount of their programs I'm building. I'm going to be looking at Boost libraries and also POCO C++ libraries due to the fact that they have a wide variety, I mean a wide just range of uses and there are so many libraries out there that I could easily just pretty much build a, a good amount of the programs I'm looking for just by using those libraries. Not only that, but since the libraries are cross-platform, I think, yeah, I think the libraries are cross-platform. If the cross, if the, um, plat if the um, libraries are cross, if the I'm stuttering here. If the libraries are cross-platform like I think they are, then I'll be able to use them in my operating system, seeing that they'll be based, they'll, it'll be pretty much the equivalent of using native C++ if I think, if the uh, libraries are based off what I think they are. If they're actual, you know, just normal header files. But nonetheless, um, this is all just to say TXP Network does not use CLI, does not use .NET, we can't use Java because, hey, how do you run Java without a Java runtime environment? Java runtime environment pretty much means I have to have Java installed on the computer and in order to have Java, I have to have an operating system and can't really build an operating system out something that needs an operating system to run in the first place, so we won't use Java. Sorry about that. I mean, I really thought about it. The uh, first thing I tried to build in Java was the web browser. It didn't work out too well, and not only that, but also it's extremely difficult and trying to program it with some form of proper, you know, security. In, order, in other words, trying to actually make sure that the program will actually be secure and functioning properly is a bit difficult, so I discontinued Java. But the uh, TXP network does work in Bash, which is born again shell. So if you're interested in interpreting languages like that, you can use shell, you can use born again shell or Bash. Uh, but besides that, nothing else really in the way of interpreted languages. TXP Network was looking into Linux, but that's, I don't think that would work out too well. So pretty much we've stopped looking into the Linux altogether. In fact, the Linux operating system is considered to be inoperable at this time. You can pretty much have at that. It's on Sue Studio. Talked about that in other previous update videos. Uh, and, uh, well, if you want to take a stab at it, go on, but it's not currently being developed, and it will not be re-released. So, in other words, all those packages will soon disappear if Susio decides to update to a new set of packages, you know, for the Linux operating system. But anyway, enough about Linux, because we aren't here to talk about Linux, we're here to talk about TXP. And, uh, in the way of Top Hat Productions 1 and 5, Top Hat Productions 1 and 5 will actually have two new video reviews coming up possibly within the within the uh, next two weeks. One of those will be Masterpiece MPO 130th Anniversary Optimus Prime. Another one will be Transformers Animated Blur. If you're interested in that, just go on and drop a comment right on the uh, Top Hat Productions 115 page, or you can comment below underneath this video. Prefer that you leave the comments on Top Hat Productions 115, seeing that that's for the tour reviews and also for user friendly content. This channel is obviously going to be the one for TXP Network news updates in general. TXP Network also happens to have an actual separate user YouTube account, and that will speak more in depth about our software object. Up, uh, I'm stuttering again. That will talk more so in depth about our software update projects 
I can only talk about those in general here due to the fact that, hey, this channel is supposed to be a wide overview and has to cover a lot more content. If you want to get into specifics, talk to the TXP Network. TXP Network will be uploading a video, I think, for the first time this week. And besides that, we don't really have any uh, anything else to talk about. Oh, and by the way, if I didn't already say it, uh, Top Hat Productions Woman Vibe will also be doing a video review of Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Blur. If I already said it, well, too bad. Just wanted to make sure that I got that out there. Uh, besides that, we uh, also have a Google Plus, and we are on LinkedIn currently. So if you'd like to know about those, just contact me in the uh, comments page, and I'll tell you the link. Uh, besides that, there isn't really much to talk about. That is the full TXP Network update, and uh, for good web, web hosting, I would suggest webs.com, but webs.com finally stopped uh, well providing raw HTML web hosting, so I actually currently suggest our new host. The new host URL was actually um, put in the description of the video that came before this one, so if you want to know what the new web host is, find the URL, that's going to be easy, just look at the video that I uploaded right before this video, look in the description and you'll see it. Besides that, well, this is TXP signing out.